Hey, it's Kaylee. This lesson is on adding mixed numbers, but using a different method of improper fractions. Let's get started. Remember that a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction combined. Sometimes it's easier to work with mixed numbers if we rewrite them as improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction that is top heavy or has a bigger number in the numerator than in the denominator. We can convert mixed numbers to improper fractions pretty easily, but there are a few steps. So the first step here is we take our whole number, the big one here, and we multiply it by our denominator here. So in this case, we'd get two times four is equal to eight, and then we take that number and we add it to the numerator of our fraction. So it's three. And then we take our denominator and it stays the same, so we just move it over here. And now I have eight plus three is 11, and I keep my denominator the same, four. So my improper fraction, 11 over four, is equal to the mixed number two and three quarters. All right, now let's try using improper fractions to add mixed numbers. So here I have my whole number, three, plus my mixed number, three and one third. So let's convert our mixed number here to an improper fraction. So first I multiply my whole number by my denominator, three times three, that gives me nine. I add my numerator, one, and I keep my denominator the same. So this is equal to 10 over three. But now if I have my whole number three, I need to convert that to a fraction. So I have three over one, and I need three in my denominator, so I know I need to multiply it by three over three, and that's gonna give me nine over three. And now I'm adding these two together. So nine over three plus 10 over three gives me, I check my denominator, they're the same. I can go ahead, I can add my numerators, 19 over three. So now my addition is done and I'm gonna convert my improper fraction, remember it's top heavy, into a mixed number. So I do that by dividing, remember a fraction just means division. So three goes into 19, how many times? Well, three times six gives me 18. When I subtract those, I get a one. I keep my remainder as a fraction, so it's one over three. So 19 thirds is the same as six and one third. And there's my answer. Good, let's try one more together. So in this one I have two mixed numbers, one and two fifths plus one and four fifths. So let's go ahead and convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions, starting with our first one here. One times five gives me five. I add my numerator, which is two. I keep my denominator the same. So five plus two, that gives me seven fifths. And now I'm gonna add seven fifths to whatever this improper fraction is. One times five gives me five, plus my numerator is four. I keep my denominator the same, that's five. This gives me nine fifths. So now I have seven fifths plus nine fifths, which is equal to, checking my denominators, they're the same, five goes on the bottom and seven plus nine gives me 16. But it's top heavy, so it's an improper fraction. Let's convert it back to a mixed number. Five goes into 16 three times. Three times five, that gives me a 15. I subtract these, I get a one. Remainder as a fraction it looks like one fifth. So 16 fifths is the same as three and a fifth. And there's my answer. Good work. So now whenever you have to add mixed numbers, so you can choose how you wanna do it, adding the whole numbers together and then adding the fractions or converting my mixed numbers to improper fractions and adding across. All right, so practice what you've learned by doing the online quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.